So I wanted to talk very briefly because I know I don't want, I don't want to go too late um, about the VTubers. So VTubers are basically you know YouTubers or Twitch streamers that have created an animated profile. Um, it's a lot of VR work, a lot of like really really amazing technology. How it like follows your face and stuff like that. Have any of y'all ever considered them, or have y'all looked into them at all? Uh, I have a very particular take on VTubers. Um, I think VTubers are great when there's a whole thing built around them. Mm -hmm. Like when like when people actually do build a character around them. But I'm seeing an like almost like an unsettlingly large amount of people just going that route because they feel that their on-camera stuff is the problem with their content. Mm -hmm. So they don't change anything about themselves at all or their content or anything. Everything mm -hmm. is exactly the same, except instead of a camera, they have this animated character on screen. And obviously that's, we all know that that's not going to be the difference. You know, like no. that's, so yeah. it's, it, I'm seeing like an unsettlingly large amount of people do that. It's kind of almost like the same trend of as soon as Mixer came along, how many people just jump shit thinking that Twitch was their problem. It wasn't their content or anything. It was like, they just jumped shit because they were like, well, no, it's Twitch's fault I'm not growing kind of thing. It's like, I'm seeing almost that same exact pattern. Mm -hmm. But the people who do build genuineness around these characters, I think are really cool. Cause yeah, yeah. the technology is insanely awesome. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. uh, one of the new ones that I watched, I, I used to watch it before she was a VTuber, but Monkeyism, I was actually mentioning her cause I thought that's who the new PogChamp was. Monkeyism, I love her VTuber stuff. I love it. Like it's amazing. Like, it's funnier. Like, because I feel like for some people, they do get very self-conscious about themselves being on camera and having that, I guess, not a mirage, but having that that virtual figure between you and the camera screen mm -hmm. kind of gives you a bit... She is... I, I always thought she was kind of humorous. She's fucking hysterical. And her, her viewers show it. Like, she went from, like, 200 to close to 600 a stream because she's hysterical now. She's blown up on TikTok because of it because it gave her... The ability, and I think you're talking about Miko, I think is her name, uh, Dan, and I agree with you 100%. But she goes beyond VTuber. She, we'll talk about her in a second, she goes beyond VTuber. But it, it, it gave her the ability where, like, she doesn't see, she was always self-conscious about her face, how she looked, telling jokes. So she, the way she has her VTuber, she's no longer self-conscious about uh, what she looks like. So now she's ten times more funnier. She goes with the flow. Her type of content changed. So, like, she does more, like, interactive stuff, you know, with her chat. That's probably what you were talking about, where someone built a character and built the stream around the character and didn't just force the character into their already doing content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, you're... It, it, if something about your content itself changes, regardless of if it is because, you know, you do have that little bit of confidence boost because your insecurities are kind of taken away a little bit or something as long as your mm -hmm. content is changing you know then that's that's a positive thing you know it's good for it's good for personal growth anyways but yeah, like to see see people like just automatically say that that's their that like their problem is that they just I, I literally saw somebody actually say that it was because they were ugly they were ugly or un uh what was the word uh unapproachable looking and it's like that's that's not why now if you can be the better version of you that you want to be or create characters around these things. Cool. But just to slap the character on screen and change nothing else is not going to help you. No. Well, and that's kind of what I was talking about when we were talking about it. Cause when I first brought it up, so I have a friend who is an animator mm -hmm. uh, and she posted about it on Facebook. She asked, she was like, have, has anybody heard about these? They're called VTubers. And I was like, Oh Yeah. Um, they're super popular right now. Like there's a huge community around them. Um, but I also mentioned that I thought personally that it was in some cases more of a trend. Um, and I wasn't sure how long that trend would actually like hold on. So it like depends. And then like I brought it to the discord and we had a chat, um, to bring it up for the podcast and, um, uh, we talked about it and how there's there's definitely a difference between the VTuber community that really embraces the characters and uses them to like boost their actual content and do like make improvements to their stream and stuff like that versus the people that are doing it because like you said it's the new hit it, thing 
they think that it's you know the new hit thing and it's not their content that's the problem it's just whatever that they were doing then that maybe this is the thing that's going to help them mm -hmm. and that there's like a very distinct difference and i was trying to tell her that and i think she's going to try it and i think honestly because she's an animator um i think if she gets into it and uses her animator skills i think that she'll really enjoy it and it'll be really good for her because she's like working on developing a comic strip and all this stuff so i think like it can help her because she's just now getting into the content creation world um but i i definitely like tried to warn her i was like you know it's also it's kind of a trend right now and there's a lot of people hopping on and i don't know how long that trend is gonna last um so you either have to like go in full force or it's gonna fizzle out either yeah. way like you, it depends on how you're gonna approach this whole thing yeah and and, and i think with with you know we were also talking about whether or not we think it was gonna last i think it's gonna last because the vtuber community that you know, it's sort of like you have a Marvel's community, you have the Dead by Daylight community, you have the VTuber community. They just bounce mm -hmm. from VTuber to VTuber, that's what they love watching. And those are the ones that are going to really be able to tell the difference between what you were talking about, Rev, where people that just slap the camera on or slap the VTuber on there, and people that make the character. The ones that make the character, yeah. they're going to see the shoot up like Monkeyism has. Because the VTuber community loves it. It's original, it's something unique. You know, they, they flock to it. Um, there's the, sh I don't know her name. She's more of a, I think she's Asian. She's over in the Asian culture. The the, the shark girl. You see her on TikTok all the time. Um, she just hit, I think, 2 million on TikTok. And she just hit like 300,000 on YouTube or something like that. And so like, there was an entire, I literally, like what, what brought this conversation up for me was, I stumbled upon a Twitter thread of people specifically celebrating her hitting three. Like it was like people like crying. Because she hit 300,000. They were so happy for her. Like, the VTuber community, they are they are connected with these VTubers. You know? Mm -hmm. Almost like anime fans, in a sense. And yep. so, it's it's really remarkable that if you do it well, it could definitely be something for you. I don't think it's going to go away. But definitely got to make sure you commit to it because they won't tune in if you don't. Yeah. Right. And that's the thing. I think I think the community as a whole is obviously going to be here to stay because it's it's very solid. Um, and like you said, like they go from like VTuber to VTuber to VTuber, and that's like all they watch. So that community is solid, and it's going to stay around. And I think it's the ones, like the people that switched from Twitch to Mixer. It's that trend of jumping ship and trying the next big thing because you think it's going to make you the next big thing, and then they're going to find out that it's a lot of hard work and that trend for them in particular is going to fizzle out and vtubers as a trend i think will have a fairly short lifespan but yeah. i think the community as a whole will obviously be around for a while but i think those those that are jumping to it because it's the big thing uh are definitely going to be disappointed if they're not jumping in wholeheartedly and then they're going to come back and be like well that didn't work so what else can i blame my failing content on you know kinda... <laughs> let's go back to the movie stream back to the drawing board <laughs> um 